Oluwa awa mi be o jo wo seran ti wa Oluwa awa mi be o jo wo seran ti wa ko fun wa ni bukun o ka wa le ni rorun kara le de wa wo ko fun wa ni bukun o ka wa le ni rorun kara le de wa wo ela o awa mi be o jo wo pe se fun wa Ela o awa mi be o jo wo pe se fun wa ko fun wa ni bukun o ka wa le ni rorun kara le de wa o ko fun wa ni bukun o ka wa le ni rorun kara le de wa o oyigi o awa mi be o da ta wa lare oyigi o awa mi be o da ta wa lare ko fun wa ni bukun o ka wa le ni rorun kara le de wa o ko fun wa ni bukun o ka wa le ni rorun kara le de wa o lagbara olorun ba olodumare irorun ma je ti wa ibukun olodumare o ma je ti wa the blessings of olodumare will be your portion by the power of olodumare and you will have peace of mind here on planet earth by the power of Olodumare. Oh, we mean like, you're going to be you're going to be a good one. You're going to be a good one. Oh, we mean like, you're going to be a good one. You're going to be a good one. Oh, we mean like, you're going to be a good one. 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 I a tore te le se le se gun bere si kon a pete bili o lufe. E a se yi wa a se yi bo yi o dolo mo. O ru mi la to ba se bi se to mo te re ki la a fi se. O lo deni to ni a gbe bo e di ye. To ni koru kwe wo yi fan. O bo tu bo tu yi ye. Ta a ba ti wari ta a mo den ko. E sha ba ti bo kwa o ko. O mo lo ye le ke kwe. O mo. La gbara o lo mo ba lo du mo re. A ma bi ta bi ye lo mo. A o mo wa. O mo ni ya o mo lo mo. O re a o mo wa o ni ba bo de. All your children, the children you give back to here on earth, they will all be successful. No plans of the enemy will come to pass in the life of your children by the power of Olodumare. So shall it be. Oh, we mean your job on that. If I'm your job on that, but I'm your body. Oh, your daughter about it. That penny, my lady, lady, lady. Oh, we mean your job on that. If I'm your job on that, but I'm your body. Oh, your daughter about it. Bo ma la ya, lo ma la ya re re ni le a ye. O ru mi la yo jok konda, i fa mi yo jok konda para mi a gbo ni re gun. O ni yo jok te ni ba ti da, bo ma bi mo re re lo mbi mo re re ni le a ye. O ru mi la yo jok konda, i fa mi yo jok konda para mi a gbo ni re gun. O ni yo jok te ni ba ti da, bo ma ni re bo bo, lo ma ni re bo bo ni le a ye. O ni shubon, o jok kon wa, te ni ba da. O ni yo ma wa bi o she lo ye, mo ni o ru mi la e mi o mo jok te ni ma da. Ti yo lo sa e re la ti ye, o ni ye lo jok e ku. Or we mean that to buy she be she to mo tire ki la fi she ti kwa fi ye lo ri o mo eni lo den to ni oru mo ji ye to ni koru ko ewo ifa obutu butu ye to ba ti wa re to mu den ko or we mean that o ni she me mo pe ku ye e ku ye lo ri o mo ji ye kasi o ni ku ma ye lo ri o mo to e she e ku mi ye e ku mi ye o o ye ku de o e ku mi ye. Ikumiye lo ni o ikumiye o oye kude o ikumiye ikuwaye o ikuwaye e oye kude o ikuwaye ikuwaye lo ni o ikuwaye o oye kude o ikuwaye e ikuwaye lo ni o ikuwaye o oye kude o ikuwaye la dubara along about lo dumare ikuwaye lo di bubua untimely death will not be your portion untimely death will not come to your family untimely death will not visit your life. Untimely death will not visit the life of your children by the power of Olodumare. So shall it be. If I knew only keke lo logun, a la badja lo logun, only polo shikolo la adota, a wolo di fa fondu mbaku, e yeti shomobibi no agbondi le gun, a bu fondu mbaye, 
ijo du tun won ni emi yoku o le dire ti gbe lo e di e ri na ti mo ju le o le dire ti gbe lo o ti en ti en rere awodi kasha igbe ku awu lo korin kese o ti en ti en rere epo ni pa wa awon ni se wa la gbara olorun ba olodumare once again we will not experience of timely death on timely death will not be our portion by the power of olodumare and everything that you are thinking in your heart, every good things you are thinking in your heart, your creator will let it come to pass in your life by the power of Olodumare. And everything that I've said now, Olodumare will put a stamp of authority on there. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Aboru, 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 Boshi, Ashe. Obo, Ato, Asuri, Iwori, Wofun. A good day to everyone. Good day to my viewers. Good day to my listeners. My name is Babalawo Olariwaju Ifa Damilari. Uh, I am here today to speak on what I call your ancestors. Your ancestors. Your ancestors. That is my purpose of this video. I want to speak on who are your ancestors? What relationship do they have with you? What relationship do you have with them? What similarities do you have together? That is why I am here today. First of all, <clears throat> I'm taking you back to the previous Ifa poetry that I used in my veneration. The first Ifa poetry that I use is Orumila Yogubere Ifa Meogubere. That is Odufa Oyeku Ofun. Oyeku Ofun. If we also call the Odufa Oyeku Ofu. So if anyone goes for a divination, or maybe somebody have that Odufa from Ibodu. Orumila is advising that person to be careful so that all this or endeavor in life will not be a wastage. That is where Ifa tagged that name to be Oyeku Ofo. Ifa says the person should offer sacrifice in order not to experience wastage, in order not to experience lust. That is Oyeku Ofo. At the same time, Orumila is advising the person to offer sacrifice so that if he or she is admiring to have a child or is looking for the fruit of the womb, if I says the person should offer sacrifice so that he or she can have a child. That is the word Ogunbere, me Ogunbere, Ishu Gunbere, Ishu Ta, Agado Gunbere, Agado Pomo, Ere Gunbere, Reso, Eato. Reso, 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 Ato is known to be semen of a man, which people call spam. Eato, Reso, Reso, Ato, Reso, 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 Yo Gunbere, Sikun, Akpetebili, Olufe. So, who are the Akpetebili, Olufe? That is the wife of Orumila, the wife of Ifa. So, for example, if a man comes for this divination naturally, Ifa is advising the man to go for Ifa initiation so that all the good things he's looking for can come to him. And if it's a woman that comes for the divination and the person is married to an Ogberi, Ifa is advising her to tell her husband to go and be initiated into Ifa. If not, the semen of the husband or the sperm of the husband will not produce a child for the woman. Because at Torese Rese Rese, that is, the sperm of a man, the semen of a man can only produce a child in the stomach or in the belly or in the womb of Akpetebi Ilolufe, which is the wife of Orumila, the wife of Ifa. That is Oyeku Ofun. Oyeku Ofun. That is one of the issues in Oyeku Ofun. So Oyeku Ofun also has so many verses. It has so many verses. That is the first Ifa poetry that I use in my veneration. So the second Ifa poetry is Oyeku Ogunda. Oyeku Ogunda. The first one is Oyeku Ofun, which is Oyeku Ofo. 
So the second one is Oyeku Oguda. Oh, we mean like your job can If I'm your job can die, but I'm not going to. Only your job can never die. That poor man, that jealous man, that jealous man. Oh, we mean like your job can die. If I'm your job can die, but I'm not going to. Only your job can never die. That poor man, that jealous man. Your job can never die. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Only a more job can what? See, you man die. To just be oh good or no, what? But she may hear your job yet. He said there is a particular day that one is destined to. But the person must make every possible means to take away that day. When you enjoy your coup, he said that day is a day of death. So once the person is able to offer the necessary sacrifice, that death will be taken away from him or her. So it was when the day, the day of death was taken from Orumila. Orumila was now singing. He says, "I come here, no need you. I come here, oh oh yeah, good day. I come here, so that barrelo and barrelo man, I come here, no need to go away. So the third would be far is on one in Meji. Oni keke lo lo bun alaba ja lo lo bun. Oni polo shikolo na dota. So if I is asking this person on one in Meji to offer sacrifice so that he will not experience untimely death." It's very important. So thank you very much. Elaboru, elaboru once again. Elaboru bossy share. Oguato asuri iwuri wofu. Thank you very much. So today I want to speak on your ancestors. Who are your ancestors? What relationship do they have with you? What relationship do you have with them? First of all, your ancestors are the people who have the opportunity to live the life you are living now before you. They are your ancestors. Anyone who has the opportunity to come to this planet Earth before you is known to be your ancestors, which is your father, your mother, your grandfather, your grandmother, your great-grandfather, your great-grandmother, and so on and so forth. They are your ancestors. They are your ancestors. And then, there are some things that will not happen in your life positively if you do not seek the consent of your ancestors. There are some things that will not happen positively in your life as a man, as a woman, if you do not seek the consent of your ancestors. It's very important. There are divinations or there are some divinations you will make in fact, we have to direct you back to your ancestors for a solution. So that is why today, you must take note to acknowledge the people who have the opportunity to exist before you. They must be respected. They must be acknowledged in everything you do. They must be respected and acknowledged in everything you do if you want to live a successful life. Unfortunately, so many people today have no relationship with their ancestors. I come again. If you want to live a good and a successful life, a productive life, you must have a good relationship with your ancestors. That is the people who have the opportunity to exist before you. But unfortunately, you do not have relationship with them. How do we do it? How do we go about it? How do we advise you and you will understand the content of our advice? That is the problem the world are facing today. 
your ancestors. Yoruba will say, Okuta ba so lokpe, lokpe so bani. That is, if you throw a stone to the palm tree, the palm tree will return that same energy with which you throw that stone back to you. Okuta ba so lokpe, lokpe so bani. Meaning that there is not everything you do in order to appreciate your ancestors, everything you do in order to acknowledge your ancestors, that same energy, your ancestor will return it back to you positively. But today, do you know your father? Do you have a relationship with your father? Do you know your grandfather? Have you ever taken your time to acknowledge your grandfather? Your great grandfather will no longer existing before your birth. Do you try to seek knowledge about your great grandfather? Who is he or who was he while he was alive? No information about your ancestors. All you know is about yourself, your name, your edu educational qualification, and so on and so forth. That is the things you can say about yourself. No knowledge, no information about the people who have the opportunity to live before you. And do not forget, a day is coming. You will also become an ancestor to your children. You will become an ancestor to your grandchildren. You will become an ancestor to your great-grandchildren. So this is an awakening call. It's a call, it's a message to awaken your spiritual mind. It's a message to awaken your spirituality as an African child. Your ancestors. I'm taking you to Odwifa Oyeku Ayelubi. Oyeku Ayelubi. Oyeku Ayelubi says, Orumila yo di alube, e fa mo lo di alube son bara mi agboni rebun. Oni e wo la alube, e wo la alube son. Oni o moti baba reba wi, to wanoki. O moti ya reba wi, to wanoki. O moti ya reba ba wi, to mo ya re lo ju. O lo ti no ya re, o ti no baba re niye. O ni da ju da ju, o mo a shebe e fun. That is why yo kwa ye lo be that is. Whatever you do to your parents, whatever you do to the people who have come to this life before you, the same thing your children will do to you. That is the verse of Oyekwa Yelubi. So are you seeing the reason why people are facing different challenges, different difficulties today? Because they have planted a seed of sorrow by themselves. Because they have planted a seed of bitterness by themselves. Because they have planted a seed of failure all by themselves. When the seed will grow and germinate and reproduce, nobody will know. Or Yeku Ayelubi says that. Or Rumila Yu Dialube, if I'm not Dialube, some bar at me and Bonnie Lubu. Only a woni alube, a woni alube, son, only a motiba bar about we to ba waruki. Omotoba mo yare do ju omotoba wi wa ki wa si baba to bi lomo Olo ti no baba re ni e o ni daju daju omo ma no So you parents you need to learn from this old we found your kwaye lugbe What are the attitudes you show your parents Are you surprised that your child is also bringing the same energy the same attitude to you now and you thought the child is possessed. No! The child is not possessed. It's just as a result of what you planted is what you are reaping. That is the basic truth of life. Your ancestors, that is the topic. Your ancestors, that is the topic. A lot of you, you are alive. Your mother is alive. But, you are not interested in talking to your mother because somebody accused of accused your mother of a witchcraft. 
and by since that time you have decided not to have any relationship with your mother but you have forgotten that if your mother is a witch she carried you in her stomach for nine months it would have been easy for her to eat you alive if she was a witch but when you grow up in the course of you searching for knowledge and wisdom in the course of you searching for information you met the wrong people and they told you that same mother that same woman is a witch imagine so today you are experiencing failure today you are experiencing setback you believe it is because your mother is a witch we all need to come back to the reality of life in order for us to be able to fulfill our destiny we all need to come back to the reality of life in order for us to fulfill our destiny so many of you you have refused to have a relationship with your father all because of what your mother told you about your father yes your father had done the wrong thing it's understandable but in order for you not to inherit a cause in order for you not to inherit a cause you need to let go of offense you must forget about what your father had done embrace love cherish love practice love put love into practice is very important in order for you not to inherit a cause in order for you not to plant a sorrowful seed for future generation your ancestors that is the topic how often how often do you appreciate your parents how often do you appreciate your mother how often do you appreciate your father have you ever take note who are your grandfather have you ever take note to acknowledge your grandmother all these are very important in the course of our growth in life everything is not about witches and wizards everything is not about batting the soap everything is not about ACJ. everything is not about somebody is inflicting pain on me everything is not about i've tried i've tried no you need to seek knowledge what is the cause of your failure have you ever asked yourself some questions why am I experiencing failure? Have you? This is a call of awakening. It's a call to awaken your spirit. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. That is the law of nature. Whatever you plant, we germinate, we grow, and we will multiply back to you. That is the law of nature. Whatever we do here on health, we are going to give account of it here on health. It's very important in the course of our life. Orimila Yorere, if I mean Poshi Bara Mia Boni Rubin, Yolu Fen Fem, Yolu Fen Fem, I shake your man, Lauro Gumba, she fell Gure, see, he bend on your Gure, she fell on that is a powerful words. That is the message of Ifa. The same Oyeku Ayenobi. That's another that she said in order to follow Oyeku Ayenobi. Orimila yo orere ni re Ifa mi poshi. I olu fe fe mi olu fe fe. I she ki ala woro ujabati fe ujare si be no ni ujare ashi fe no resi. Orimila yo orere ni re Ifa mi poshi. I olu fe fe mi olu fe fe. You will shake your mother or shoe, but if you shoe the sea, he bear no new shoe as you fell on the sea. You will shake your mother to the way the gear law, I bear the conscious or giddy giddy down co. You will shake about the fair on sea, you will show the one fair sea. What is the meaning of that message in your quiet look? There is a far already any remit was she, you look fair, fair, you look fair, fair. Only be on my lower, but she fell. You see, that is the more the follower of Ogun. Show appreciation to Ogun, show love to Ogun, the same energy Ogun will take back to them or will give back to them. Meaning that 
The same energy you give to your mother, the energy you give to your father is what they are returning back to you spiritually. Have you ever received a waste of veneration from your mother? Has your father ever prayed for you, ever venerated for you? It's very important. Go and make research about my message. Whatever that comes out of my mouth is the wisdom of Olodumare. I do not speak for speaking sake. I do not speak for fun. I speak spiritual message, spiritual knowledge, deep knowledge of Olodumare. What relationship do you have with your creator? If you do not have relationship with your creator, how do you not want to have relationship with your ancestors? Your ancestors are the people who have the opportunity to bring you to life. Without your ancestors, you will not be existing today. But unfortunately, majority of you still believe that it is Jesus that created you. So you are living your life for Jesus. That is a deceit. We call it a tongue in Yoruba language. You know, do you follow Barai Leke? Or you like, yeah, ton de re ni re fa mi e ton je bara mi ag boni re gun. O ni ki won so fa la wuro gun, ko ma ton o gun re je ki o gun ma ba ton je. Or you like, yeah, ton de re ni re fa mi e ton je bara mi ag boni re gun. O ni ki won so fa ma la wuro, ja ko ma ton ja re je ki o ja ma ba ton je. Ki won so fa ma la wuro, shun ko ma ton shun je ki o shun ja ma ba ton je. O ni ki won so fa ma ka koton we ridi alo, ko ma ma ba o un fi e ton shere. A lot of you are living your life in deceit. You are living a fake life. And a fake life cannot take you to anywhere. Because when the result of the fake life will come, it might meet you unaware. That is what I like. Have you ever experienced a waste of veneration from your own biological mother? Because your mother told you your father got married to another woman. Because your mother told you your father abandoned your ch all the children. So you decided not to have a relationship with your father. You are actually bringing a curse upon yourself. That is the reality of life. This has nothing to do with emotions. And of course, out of the 100% message given from your mother to you, towards your father... 90% might be true, but you must not judge your father. You have no right to judge your mother as well. You were not there when they were in love. You were not there when they were in relationship. You were not there when they were living their life. And of course, without the presence of your father, you will not be existing today. So therefore, you must be the one to settle whatever disagreement Whatever mismanagement, whatever misinformation between your father and your mother, that is what makes you a man. That is what makes you a woman. Your ancestors. If you are avoiding your father because your mother gave you some, gave you some information, and at the end of the day, the same father died, you are buying a cow, you are calling on a musician, you are calling on people to come and celebrate, to come and eat. What do we say to that? Remember the message, your ancestors. Do not plant a seed of sorrow. Think about your future. Your future is very important than today. Your future is important than today. But today, you are forgotten the agreement you had. Your ancestors are very important. No matter where you find yourself in life, no matter the situation you find yourself, no matter the position you find yourself, always remember that some people have this opportunity to live life before you. They pave way for you. They make a way for you. They create the life you are living now. So the life you are living now, the position you find yourself now, is not as a result of your smartness. 
It is not as a result of how educated you are. No. If your ancestors had done the wrong thing, the wrong things must have been affecting you now. But if you are living a good life now, it's clearly shown that your ancestors lay a good foundation because they know children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren are coming after them. So if you are not taking the opportunity to also lay a good foundation for children's children that are coming after you, there will be a problem in the future. There will be a problem in the future. And let me remind you, there are some problems that will not be solved here on health without the, without the consent of your ancestors. That is what Odwifa Ogberukusa says. There are some problems that will not be solved. There are some problems that will never have a solution if you do not run back to your ancestors and seek their consent. Those problems will never be solved. That is what Ifa Ogberukusa says. Or you may not do it, but when you join, if I'm only around to allow you to ban it, she only allow to allow you to move to ban it, she to fin gurege to fin yori sirere. Money on not tanili ado, or you may not know what tanili ado. Or you may not do it, but when you join, if I'm only around to allow you to ban it, she only allow to allow you to move to ban it, she to fin gurege money eri mi no di owo, or you may not know. Or women are your duty to the pony join if I'm only around to Ale Luma Bani Shebara Mia Boni Ribun. Only around to Ale Woni Motum Bani Shet of him good again. Money pepper, do they say, Onirara? A laughing lawyer or women are near. Only a la lequa is true or women are near. Money or women are meeting Jawabun, Damila Shoro. A mule money total bani shake, the battle joe, whom by day, the battle joe, whom by lay. Only a fee by me. Tabi yaini to ti fini si le si a yi lo. O ni a wan len to 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 mba ni ishe. So what do you understand by this message? So Orumila was trying to pass a message across to you, you know, the fall of Beruku, sir. That a time is coming. The world will rise against you. Human will rise against you. The human will want to fight you. People will want to rise and fight you. He said, when this day come, who do you run to? I said you run to Olota Nili Ado, that is the king of Ado Ekiti. Orumila says the king of Ado Ekiti is not capable to handle such situation. I said you will run to Erimilo Diowo, that is the king of Owo. Orumila says the king of Owo is not capable. I keep mentioning all the kings that I know that are powerful. Orumila says they, they are not capable. Both the only, another question, that is the only of Ife. I laugh you, you. Orumila says they are not capable. I said Orumila. I have come to confess. I don't know who is capable to solve my problem when the problem comes. It says it is one father and one mother who is no longer here on planet Earth. It said they are the ones that are capable of solving those problems. And these same people are the people you are not interested in having a relationship with. Are you seeing why there is problem? Are you seeing why there are failures? Are you seeing why there are setbacks? Are you seeing why you are experiencing difficulties? Your mates are getting married, you have no chance for getting a, a good husband. Your mates are getting good wife, you are not getting good wives. Your mates are having children, there's no children. Your mates are having good job, there's no job. And all these things where you sit down alone, probably with your friends, you think it's the witches and wizards. But have you ever questioned yourself to ask, who am I? Who am I existing? Who do I need to run to? These are very important questions we always need to ask ourselves. They are very important questions. They are very important questions. If I need to book it, I will buy no. Baba la wo kulo di fajo kofu wo ku. Okuno fe kuro ni li aye to lo sale di orun. O le dale di orun ko on lan fa na ti ma boju wè yi wa o mo to on fe sile si li aye. Wan ni ko wa rubo. Wan ni to ba ti rubo. Wan ni to ba dale di orun. O ma lan fa na ti ma boju wa o mo to on fe sile si li aye. O sa risa bo rubo. O dale di orun be lo boju wa o mo to on fe sile si li aye. I jolon jo ayo ni yo. O nyan wa wa wo nyifa. 
If I know you marry, but tell you let go for each other, me, each other, each other, both you and me, each other, both you and me. Oh, who are you, your each other, both you and me. Meaning that the people who have died, the people who have the opportunity to live this life before you, they are not sleeping. They are awake. They are looking at everything you are doing. They are monitoring every activities of of what of of your life. They are only asking you to come, seek their consent. Seek for, the, for, for their assistance. Seek for their help. But there is no knowledge about this. You have no knowledge about this. You have no information about this. All you know is just to live your life. Have fun. Smoke. Drink. Humanize. No. Life is beyond that. You've got to understand what life inquires. You've got to understand what life requires and entails. You cannot continue to live your life the way you want to live it. Of course, it's your life, but you must believe that this life is spiritual. 99% spiritual and 1% physical. There is no evil things that will happen to you today. It has happened a few months ago, spiritually. There is no great things or good things that will come to you. It has come to you a few months ago, spiritually. So the physical life is just a manifestation of the spiritual activities. So if you are not spiritually entitled to, to goodness, goodness will not come to you physically. So whatever bad things that happens to you, it clearly shows you are spiritually qualified for that bad thing. You are qualified for it. You've got to understand how life rotates. You've got to understand how the life works. Cultivate the attitude of relationship with your ancestors today is very important. Do not see your ancestors as nobody. Cultivate a good relationship with them. This will orchestrate your success. This will orchestrate your upliftment in life. Your ancestors. They are the people who have the opportunity to live this life before you. In other words, a time is coming, you will also become an ancestor to your children, to your grandchildren, to your great-grandchildren. So whatever you do to your ancestors now is what your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren will do to you. It's a time of payback, a time of reflection, personal reflection. Where your father is buried, the grave is not maintained. How much will it cost you to get a good, a good ties? Tie the grave. Make sure it's clean. Wash it once in two, three months. Make it look clean. Give your father water to drink. Give your father drink. Give your father cola nut. Give your father a, 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 a cup or whatever your father requires of you. It is very simple. But you have no knowledge of this because your pastor has told you if you do it, you will go to a fire. Your prophet have told you that if you have any relationship with people that have died, you also you will die. By so doing, you are neglecting your ancestors. You are neglecting your source. You are neglecting your origin. You are neglecting your foundation. Are you seeing where the problems are coming from? Are you seeing why your children are misbehaving? Are you seeing why you are not even attaining a good position in life? You join politics. Open to be a successful politician, but where are you today? Nothing good comes out of it. Your ancestors, take note of them. Take good care of them. Do not neglect them. It's very important in life. Your ancestors, how often do you put a call across to your mother in the village? How often do you put a call across to your father? What relationship do you have with your father? What relationship do you have with your mother? Take care of them. Forget about the past. Forget about the wrong information they told you. Even if the information were right, you still need to forget about it in order not to lay a foundation of course for yourself and your children that are coming. Your ancestors. Unfortunately, a lot of you were given back to in another country, in Canada, in America, in UK, 
you have you you've not even been to Nigeria, let alone knowing where you came from. You have a lot of work to do. That is why you are experiencing what you are experiencing now. It is time for you to settle down. There is no man that is coming for you and the marriage. You suddenly find yourself in a bad group, smoking, drinking, humanizing. You just involve yourself in so many criminal activities. And sometimes you sit down and ask yourself, why am I doing this? You do not understand. There is a cause that is affecting you. That cause, you need to trace the foundation of that cause. It's very important. I speak about reality. I speak about how you are going to gain your freedom. I speak about how your children will gain their freedom. Because whatever position you find yourself in now, if care is not properly taken, it might affect your children. So you need to be careful of how you live your life. And those of you that are misbehaving now, thinking it's your life, nobody can question you how to live your life, nobody can tell you how to live your life. A time is coming, you will continue to seek the knowledge of others in order to correct the mistakes you have made in the past. Your ancestors, they are very important. I hope I have passed a good message across to you. And I hope you will take your time to watch this video, think about it yourself, learn from it, and teach yourself. Thank you very much. My name remains Babalawo Olariwaju Ifa Damilari. Aboru Aboye. Aboye. Once again, if my, mess if my message has come in the wrong way to you, please forgive me. I am a messenger of Olodumari. I must speak the truth in respect of my listeners and my viewers. Thank you very much. Aboru, aboye, aboye,